Megan channels casual chic as she opts for a relaxed updo and a 45 pounds M&S jumper under a 600 pounds coat for her first engagement of 2018. She's usually seen with her raven traces tumbling around her shoulders, but today Meghan Markle channeled the sleeker look for her first public engagement of 2018 with Prince Harry. For her visit to the studios of Represent 107.3 FM in Brixton, South London, a 24-hour underground music station presented by People Under 25, the former suit star wore her hair tied back in a neat bun with a few tendrils left loose around the front. According to celebrity hair stylist Jay Birmingham, Meghan's choice of hair due today was a sign that she keen to eschew royal formality for a more relaxed look. I love this effortlessly chic look, you can't beat a good bun, he told female. Meghan's low loose bun is perfect for both day and night and gives a sense of undone glamour. By having a few loose strands around the front of her hairline also gives a more natural finish. It's also a fail-safe look favored by celebrities looking for a low-key and low-maintenance hairstyle and works really well with her outfit of choice. Meghan's relaxed look proved that she determined to forge her own style identity rather than becoming a clone of the Duchess of Cambridge, 36, who is known for being a picture of sleek perfection, with not a hair out of place, at all times. The former Suits actress covered up in a 600 pounds coat by Smith but also scored points today by championing British brands on the visit including High Street stalwart M&S. Harry's fiancé chose a black wool blend round neck belt sleeve jumper, costing just £45 from Marks and Spencer for the visit, and added another High Street piece, a grey scarf from Jigsaw. There is even a family connection to the brand as Kate briefly worked for the retailer as a part-time accessories buyer before she married Prince William. Meghan teamed her ensemble with a pair of wide-legged trousers from Burberry, another stalwart of the British fashion industry. However, she didn't completely abandon her loyalty to Canadian brands, as she covered up in a grey wool coat by Toronto-based brand Smith. Her decision to wear trousers for her first royal engagement of 2018 showed that Meghan is determined to do things her own way. Her future sister-in-law Kate is synonymous with figure-hugging shift dresses teamed with new court shoes and the Duchess is only very occasionally seen in trousers. But Meghan's smart casual look is more in keeping with the classic style she'd been channeling long before meeting Princess Harry. The bride-to-be squealed and said she was so excited about her forthcoming wedding to Prince Harry as they undertook their second public engagement today. The visit to urban radio station represent in Brixton, South London, saw the couple dot headphones in the studio and m chat to dozens of young DJs with Harry even carrying off a complicated fist bump with one. The prince also demonstrated that his wife to wear the trousers in their relationship during a discussion about gender equality. Station manager Adrian Newman told him that they had a question for him to which Harry pointed at Meghan and swiftly replied, she answers the questions. Yes talking of gender equality. Meghan quickly snapped back, with a smile on her face. The couple enjoyed a tumultuous welcome to Pop Brixton where the station, which has been running for 15 years, is based. Meghan and Harry smiled broadly as people cheered and shouted, and in response to Harry's gesticulating to the crowds and comment this is so loud, you have to, Meghan turned and blew the kiss, which had everyone screaming even louder. According to Shane Carey, CEO and founder, it was Harry and Meghan who approached him three days before Christmas asking if they could come and see the station for themselves. They were very clear they didn't want to be on the radio but one thing they were very, very strong on, which I quite liked actually, is that they wanted to talk to young people as much as possible, Mr. Carey said. The station will be running while they are there, we will have young people doing social media, editing etc., so they will be seeing it as it happens. It's less about them and more about hearing the stories of those here. The amount of planning that has gone into this in such a short space of time has been huge but this is brilliant for us. We have been slogging at it for 15 years and to actually have the spotlight shone on us in this way is remarkable. From Harry's point of view it's a fact-finding thing and he genuinely wants to see it in action. You can see these things on paper but that doesn't really convey what we do.